hello guys welcome back to my channel how are you all doing today hope you all are fine so in today's video i'm going to be making some grilled croaker fish if you are interested continue watching and let's get started For this recipe, here is the croaker fish that I'm going to be using. I've cleaned up my croaker fish very well and make sure you clean up yours as well. I'm going to be using some lemon, oregano, garlic, salt, mixed black pepper, olive oil and some spring onions. So now I'm going to be marinating the fish, but before I start, I'll make sure I take a paper napkin to dry up all the water from the body of the fish. Then I will give the fish a nice cut around the body. So now I'm going to be marinating the fish with some salt. Then I will make sure I rub the salt all around the body, both inside and outside. I'm going to be needing some mixed black pepper. I'm just going to sprinkle it all over the body of the fish and make sure you marinate this fish with all the spices that will add more flavor to the fish. I'll add some oregano. garlic i'm just going to fix the garlic all around the cuts of the fish that will really add more flavor to this fish because garlic goes well with fish I'm going to be adding some spring onions, lemon, I just like the taste of this lemon inside this fish because the lemon will add this kind of freshness to this fish but it's optional though if you don't like it you can skip the lemon so now before i grade my fish this is very important because if you don't want your fish to stick to your oven rag you need to rub the oven rag with some oil then i'll place the fish on top of the oven rag I'm going to be rubbing the both sides of the fish with some olive oil. This will really help the fish not to break up when you are about to flip the other side. I'm going to be putting the fish inside the oven. I've preheated my oven and I'm going to be setting the oven to 180 degree. So now I'm going to be making some spicy sauce for the fish. 
Here are the vegetables I'm going to be using. I've taken off the seed away from the tomatoes because I don't want too much liquid inside this spicy sauce. And I'm going to be cutting all the vegetables into tiny pieces. So guys, here is the fish. I'm going to be flipping it to the other side. As you can see, the fish did not stick to the oven rack just because I rubbed the fish with oil. So it's really helpful to do that. So now I'm going to be adding some spices to my chopped vegetables. I'll be adding seasoning, salt, oregano and some olive oil and i'll make sure i mix everything together very well so now i'm going to be cooking the vegetable up to three minutes because i don't want to overcook the vegetables I'll give it a nice stir, then I'm going to be adding some mixed black pepper. So guys, our fish is now ready. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And remember to set that notification bell icon to all because that will always notify you anytime I upload a new video. And I would love to see you all again in my next video with another delicious recipe. I love you all guys. Bye-bye. Ciao.